welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church, Loudoun County. I take time every week and I dive into the Word with you, sharing in my time in the Word in the hopes that it would be an encouragement to you. I believe the Word is an encouragement to us for the purposes of us being an encouragement to others. So my hope is that you would then share this encouragement with the other people that are in your life. Today, I want to talk about the reality of our place of strength, but more importantly, the question, where do we go from here? And that place being this moment right now. Today, I'm going to be reading from the message translation, which is a translation that's a paraphrase. And um, every once in a while, I'll go back and forth and listen to what the message translation says. And today we're going to be reading Psalm 27 in the message translation. I just want you to listen to the way that this is translated. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about that. It reads this. So with him on my side, I'm fearless. Afraid of no one and nothing. When vandal hordes ride down, ready to eat me alive, those bullies and toughs fall flat on their face. When besieged, I'm calm as a baby. When all hell breaks loose, I'm collected and cool. I'm asking God for one thing, only one thing, to live with him in his house my whole life long. I'll contemplate his beauty. I'll study at his feet. That's the only quiet, secure place in a noisy world. The perfect gateway, far from the buzz of traffic. God holds me head and shoulders above all who try to pull me down. I'm headed for his place to offer anthems that will raise the roof. I'm already singing God's songs. I'm making music to God. Listen, God, I'm calling at the top of my lungs. Be good to me. Answer me. When my heart whispers, seek God, my whole being replied, I am seeking God. Don't hide from me now. You've always been right there for me. Don't turn your back on me now. Don't throw me out. Don't abandon me. You've always kept the door open. My father and mother walked out and left me, but God took me in. Point me down your highway, God. Direct me along light, well-lighted streets. Show me my enemies whose side you're on. Don't throw me to the dogs. Those liars who are out to get me, filling the air with threats. I am sure now. I'll see God's goodness in exuberant wealth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I'll say again, stay with God. There's two pieces to this that I want to encourage you with today. The first of which being that there is, there is a security and there is a sureness in knowing that God is with us. And so in the beginning of this psalm, we see him find courage in the reality that God is with him. And so today, um, know that God is with you. Um, Know that wherever you go, whoever you speak with, that God is in your midst and you have nothing to fear. There's a place of strength from that if we can rely on that. The, The second part of this Uh, that I want you to dwell on, that I want you to find strength in, that I want you to be encouraged by, is the life that comes from dwelling with God, choosing to acknowledge him, choosing to go to the place that he's in, bringing yourself intentionally to a place where you can find rest in him because the reality is life does get busy. And it is, it is loud and, and noisy and distracting. And there's peace and there's security and there's sureness and there's strength in the presence of God. And so to my question today, where do we go from here? 
today we step forward in faith. Step forward in faith towards the presence of God. Find time and space today to be with him. But also take heart knowing that if there's people that are challenging you, if you feel besieged, if you feel attacked, you can find strength and security in what God has promised you. But also as you step forward today, that if you choose to speak the story of God, like we talked about this last Sunday, if you step out in faith and you believe that God's with you and you know that his strength is behind you, then you can take heart knowing that you've done everything that you can do by being faithful to what he's given you. So what do we do with today? Today we step forward in faith. I'm going to pray that over you and I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Father, thank you. Thank you that we find security in you. Uh, Thank you that we find uh, strength in you. Thank you that we find peace and rest in you. It's all because of Jesus. And so it's in his name that I pray. Amen.